Ravens half loss. What do you think? Congratulations, Bubba, man. It's, uh, it's an honor to be out here announcing you tonight. Uh, I understand tonight's your uh, retirement fight. But first, you know, your fight with Brian Houston, a two-time UFC veteran uh, himself. Uh, give us your thoughts on the fight with that opponent. Man, I, here's the thing. I love that dude. Y'all don't even know, understand the love I have for Brian Houston. That guy is a tough mother. And y'all don't even know, like, whenever we used to train together, I used to always be like, I'm not standing in front of this guy. This guy's one-two is mad. You know what I mean? Like, I remember the first time I stood in front of him and he threw a one-two at me, and I was like, oh, I'm not standing here at all. Like, you know, it was one of those things, like, that is a bad dude. Man, we're just old guys now, you know what I mean? So him to come down and be the guy that helps me with my retirement fight, man, like, I love that guy, man. I, ca I can't tell y'all how much it means to me. Absolutely, 100%. Now, it is, it is time to retire. You're going to lay your, your gloves down here for the last time in MMA. Now, you step into the role a promoter. Now you're going to be on the other side of things, working other stuff, working matchmakers. And you know what? This world needs matchmakers with experience like you, with the pedigree that you have, man, you're going to find the best prospects to bring right here to Wichita Falls, Texas. Your thoughts on that? Man, I've wanted a way to be able to be a part of the sport even after I'm out. I've, I've had times where when I wasn't in a part of the sport and I, I took a little retirement. And then, like I say, I haven't fought MMA since 2018. There is something missing in my soul when I'm not involved with MMA. Even just being at shows, you know, it, it gives me that spark of I'm alive still. You know what I mean? So to not be a part of MMA for a little while, it hurt my feelings, man. And this gives, gives me that avenue to continue to work with fighters. And I'm going to tell you like this. I'm all about fighters. I'm not a promoter first, anything like that. I know how fighters need to get treated. I want to treat fighters right. The thing is that makes me the maddest is people that don't take care of their fighters, man. Something's going wrong in this show, anything like that, I expect y'all to call me. You know what I mean? I take care of fighters. That's my job from here on out. That's very nice, very nice. Excellent. Your career spanning years and years, promotion after promotion, at the most elite levels of all over in the MMA game. You know, uh, tell us what it's like right now to be able to put that all away. I'm glad, I had a good, I'm glad I had a good performance. Like, I came out, I had fun, I landed what I needed to, and, you know, I, I stayed calm enough, and, and I got a win over a real gritty guy. That guy is a tough guy, and anybody who has a win over him ain't no pussy. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, y'all got to be a bad motherfucker to beat Brian Houston. And like I say, to come in here and be able to do it like that made me feel good. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like the way, being able to end like that. So with a long storied career, man, there's got to be a lot of people who have been behind you over the years. I'm sure a lot of them are right here right now. So, <laughs> all right, I'm going to give you all a real quick run right here. Keith Sutton, 19 years ago, we were just talking about it. Cornered me in my very first amateur MMA fight. Cornered me in my last professional fight right here. That guy, man, I, I, got, enough, I got nothing but great things to say about that guy. Mike Rojas, Tyson Southern is my oldest friend in the world right here. Watching him grow and become the fighter he's becoming and everything is great. Kyler Fairchild, we took that guy thinking, woo, we're about to go get beat up. Then he started whooping some butt, man. That guy's about to get out there. He's on LFA here soon. All these people that are here in the stands right there, my family, my kids. I got my son right over there. Worked the show with me tonight, my 17-year-old boy. I got my baby. Y'all seen him running around, I'm sure. He's dancing every time I, I seen him on the, as I say. It's just everybody that's here, thank y'all so much. Wichita Falls, Texas, put your hands together and don't stop for Bubba the Menace McDaniel. Well, there you go, Bubba the Menace McDaniel, his retirement fight coming out on top over Brian Houston.